Team Norway, congratulations. Uh, strong performance here in Antos to take the last mixed relay before the World Championships. Caro, we'll start with you. How satisfied are you? This was a really uh, tough, I would say, leg. Yes, it's really tough. It's always tough to compete here, I think, in, uh, in Antols. But I think uh, I was a bit upset with myself with the getting a, a spare shot on the prone, because then Lisa Vitozzi was just fast, uh, and it was impossible to get back. Uh, but uh, yeah, good standing. And then still, Lisa Vitozzi was in front, but I think I managed to keep a okay pace also on the last loop. So I, yeah, it was good for the boys to fight on the last two legs. It was a really good performance from you. And uh, how important is it to get such a good result in this format, especially given that the next one is at the World Championships? Well, we are three girls fighting for two spots, I think. Uh, Ingrid is kind of self-explanatory with the, the, the yellow bib. <laughs> but Uni and I are fighting for the last spot. And I think, uh, of course, uh, of course, both of, of, of us want it, but uh, it's also nice to have a good uh, reserve. Um, so we, we will see who fights, uh, who gets the spot. But I think Team Norway will still uh, still be a really, really strong team, whoever races. Who do you think got the extra credits today? Uh, I can't say. <laughs> it's impossible. We have to check. Maybe they have give us a test race the week before just to, to check who's in best shape. I don't know. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Johannes, uh, com huge compliments for the this. Yeah, as you said uh, in the flash, you were challenged uh, by someone and you played by their rule. Yeah, yes. Uh, there was no point for me to to try and shoot slow and good because uh, yeah you can still miss and I knew that uh, Giacomel would try to do like two times 20 seconds so I had to do the same and uh, it I had a good response especially on standing I shot clean and uh, then uh, I was yeah still in the lead um, but it could have ended otherwise uh, it looked confident and good but uh, it was quite close actually. How does it feel to be racing here, especially on the Uberhalm, where lots of people are cheering for everyone? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of people here and coming in the final 200 meters before the finish, you see the wall of people with the scenery behind, with the mountains and the blue skies. The sun is here. Uh, uh, it's pictures you will remember for your whole life. And I'm so proud and happy to anchor a leg to bring Norway the win and uh, yeah this is, is a little bit extra. As the anchor you probably follow the competition uh, where do you think that Norway won this competition? Uh, I think uh, for all shootings um, today was quite fast on the tracks we were racing six kilometers so the key was shooting today and Uni did a very good job uh, pushing hard on the, to catch up the extra she needed. Uh, Carolina also was uh, five out of five in the standing and pushing hard uh, behind yesterday's winner. And I was really yeah, impressed by everyone. Thought I make the gap just some seconds for me, and and then it was up to me to uh, ski fast and shoot clean. And um, yeah, it was good. It definitely was. Congratulations. Team Italy, congratulations. Uh, amazing performance for a podium here at home. I will start with you, Toro. Especially for you, this one must be feeling so special given all the troubles of the past few months, I would say. Uh, yes, of course, at home is it always really special. I mean, uh, there are all the fans uh, which are expecting a podium. It's not always easy because uh, the mixed relay is always really tough because uh, every nation has have a lot of uh, good athletes. And yes, of course, uh, my performance was, at, was not the best on the skis, but I'm not feeling 100%, uh, but I'm happy about my shooting. And then uh, I had uh, some good teammates who made the best race. <laughs> As for you, given especially the, the problems of the last few weeks, how important is it to get a good result? And as you said, maybe not the best skiing, but uh, very, very strong performance at the range. Uh, yes, of course, it's always good, uh, especially at home, to make a podium. Um, of course, uh, I have also to be realistic and I know that uh, I'm far away from my best shape, but uh, I hope that for the world champs, 
it will be a little bit better, I hope. If not, I have some big problems. <laughs> and yes, I was just focusing on the shooting range to do a good job and I'm really happy about that. Congrats. Didio, uh, you were really strong on skis today, very solid at the range. Um, how satisfied are you with the performance and of course the podium at home? Yeah, I'm super satisfied about the today race. Uh, but it was not so easy uh, when I start in front. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, the short individual was not uh, so good. Uh, I have a difficult day on shooting range, so yeah, today I was a little bit uh, stressed, uh, especially because the is on uh, at home. Yes, uh, in Antols and was a little bit difficult. I need, I have to, to keep the focus, especially on the shooting range, but yes, I'm, I'm really happy to have to achieve this, this result, especially because there were a lot of people come here cheering us, and so yeah, this is amazing. How is it to be dueling with uh, almost a legend of the sport like Tarje? Ah, it was uh, quite hard, especially on the last lap when uh, we arrived to the Uberal Klim, Uberal Klim, uh, yeah, is. But it's, it's always uh, a good thing to, to, to have a challenge with these champions, yeah. Congratulations. Team Sweden, congratulations. Back in the podium, uh, strong performance as a team today. And now you open this, uh, very strong shooting. Uh, how, how did you feel it out there? Uh, yeah, it felt good. It was a very nice atmosphere here in Antols and it was so fun to race. So I'm uh, very happy also with the cl clean shooting. Opening a relay is always important because uh, it really helps maybe taking a bit of the pressure off the others. Uh, how satisfied are you and were you a bit nervous? Uh, yes, I'm always a little bit nervous before this uh, race, so uh, also today. But uh, I have done so some uh, first legs now and I feel quite comfortable with that. So it's nice to have one more relay in a first in a starting position that well, went well and uh, since you were the first one you had to watch the whole thing was it more nervous than uh, competing uh, no <laughs> it's uh, i uh, i know they are good shooters and good skiing skiers so it was a little bit nervous uh, sometimes but uh, in the end it was a very good uh, relay for us Congratulations. Elvira, uh, strong performance for you is on the skis. Maybe a little bit of uh, scare from you instead on the standing. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's been a while since I had used all my spare rounds in the relay. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it was a very good feeling for me to feel better on the skis today. It was, I w it was kind of expected that it was going to be a struggle yesterday and maybe a bit better today, but you never know. So it was a really good uh, feeling to ski better today. But of course, it got a bit nervous on the last standing, but uh, I'm very happy that I managed to solve it in a good way. Also, since the next uh, mixed read is going to be in the World Championships, how important is it for the team to get a podium in this format? I mean, of course, it's uh, the mixed really in the World Champs is a very difficult event. I'd say there are so many nations who have really, really strong teams. So, so you, we know that we have a strong team, of course, but it's uh, you really have to perform very well. But doing this today, I think we do a lot of good things with the team we have today. So I, we are very happy for this uh, third place. You should be. Congratulations. Thank you.